Hello, uh, is this Jay son by chance? Yes, it is. Okay, um, my name is Derek. I'm one of his tenants. Uh-huh. Okay, um, have you, uh, talked to him recently? Uh, no, what happened? When, may I ask when the last time you talked to him was? I just, I think, talked to him earlier today. Earlier today? Yeah. Because I just asked if you had talked to him recently and you said you hadn't. Yeah, well, what, what's the problem? Has he not discussed this with you? Mm, nothing about you. Nothing about any complaints or any problems or notices or inspections or residential tenancy branch, nothing like that? Nothing. Nothing? Uh, are you still in Abbotsford by chance? No. Where are you at? I'm in Surrey. Surrey. How, when did you get back from India? What's the problem, bro? What's did, the problem? did you not? I thought I thought you had moved to India. Is that not true? Uh, well, tell me why, why are you calling me. Well, tell me your problem. Why are you asking me questions? Well, because when I first moved here, you were here every Saturday, and you told me if I ever had any problems or questions, I could talk to you. This was in about July of last year, maybe August, I can't remember exactly. But then you disappeared for a while. In fact, you've never been back once. And that I've... Really long time. You were gone a really long time? Yeah. Like to India? Yes. Yeah. yeah. When did you get back? Tell me the reason, brother. Well, I, I don't need to uh, tell any questions, right? I don't need to answer any questions. Okay. So, uh, tell me, what, what is your problem? Okay, well, you used to come over to the house a lot. I haven't seen you since that time, and when I asked him about this, he said you had gone to India. Upon other times of asking questions, because he is incapable of figuring out how to deal with any of these problems and enforcing laws and making out laws that don't exist with threats of eviction, illegal rent increases, not being allowed to use his water in the front of the... Uh, coming in with these inspections telling us to throw stuff in the garbage, touching things, making up uh, ideas, turning the breaker off, saying if the breaker goes off because we used laun we did laundry in the tub because he won't let us do laundry as much as he had the first 18 months, that uh, the breaker was is our responsibility. Just numerous, uh, saying we can't use a heater in the winter, saying we can't use fans in the summer, telling us to turn the TV off constantly. It's just a, it's just an endless list. So I've, I've filed a dispute resolution, and I'm, I'm just requesting that you could come over and we could try to talk about this, and maybe you could explain to him where he's going wrong. Like, mm -hmm. and we've got video of him. I've already compiled a bunch of evidence, and there's a whole load more coming. And uh, now he's already talking about, he sent a new letter just today saying about using water is illegal and all these things that are illegal and there's no way he can enforce that law in this country uh, but what he can do what he does have the freedom to do in this country is make an eviction notice if if he sees fit to and if that comes in between now and february 29th when this residential hearing is that means i gotta waste my time and money again file another hundred dollars get a whole bunch more evidence and stuff and try to deal with that or he's free to just get an order of, uh, of, a, of a possession and possibly evict this if he sees fit to, to, so he doesn't have to face his own problems. You know, just basically it's another legal obstacle. So that's why I'm requesting that you come here. Uh, well, I don't have really too much time. Well, if you guys have so many problems, why don't you just move out really find another place? Because just moving isn't that easy. You going to help me? Do you got a place for me in Surrey or Mission no, or Abbotsford? No, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm obviously not interested in moving. I'm interested to see if we do that. This guy's free to keep doing this to tenant after tenant, keep breaking laws and stuff. And he's going to learn by the end of this. And there's going to be some, there could be potentially financial obligations from too. Raising, or sorry, lowering rent and paying fees for pain and suffering from us that he's caused. There's nothing but problems coming for this guy. And there's no way he's going to avert that now without a serious financial deal coming our way or some kind of deal. Other than that, that's what's what's going to happen. There's there's endless laws this guy's broken with countless uh, pictures and videos of him doing it. You know, we just got our hose cut by the by the other day, and I'm pretty sure it was him. Someone cut it with a knife. You know, it's just getting ridiculous around here. I just told you he didn't want us using the hose because it's illegal to use water, is what he said. His water. Okay, is this is this his house? Does he own this house? Yeah, he owned it. You know, so when was the last time you were here? Um, a really long time ago. 
because I had to work over the weekend too. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if this is your your dad. I mean, and he's having all these problems. Wouldn't you be concerned and coming over and saying, "Hey, I want to see firsthand what's going on and how he's doing these inspections," and maybe telling him because you speak English pretty good and he does not, and you could explain them a bit better. But what, maybe he should, uh, you know, take a you know relax a little bit with some of these laws he's trying to push around. Are you, are you the one uh, who lives in the backside? Yeah. Well, well, who else would we be? There's no other white people here. Uh, no, that's not really long time. A lot of people may have moved in and out, right? Yeah, and they're all Indian. Uh, um, as I say, like, uh, it's you between you and him. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't really do much. You can't really do much. Uh, his, his, uh, his property, right? Yeah, it's his property, but he's your dad. I mean, don't you? Wouldn't you? Yeah, I know. Like, let's say, let's say, for example, you just let him go on his own, and it's not your responsibility. And all of a sudden, he ends up losing five to ten thousand dollars. Wouldn't you feel a little bit concerned that your dad's losing all that money? Well, he's definitely not right. <laughs> Why were you here so often in the first few months after I moved in here? It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't really matter whether you uh, come there or not. It matters a lot. I've just discussed this because you seem to be a person who can oversee this operation and actually do something. This is not religion. This shouldn't be your problem. I come there. I come where I said I come where I don't need to ask anyone. I don't need any permissions. Uh, I can uh, come when I, I, if I don't feel like coming. I'm not coming with All right. Well, thanks for your help. Okay, see ya. Goof, you're done, bud. We got the chat logs. You're subhuman dirt now, we all know. So gross on the website.